748, Big 550, KTRS. Don't look now, but you can sign up for uh, health insurance through healthcare.gov again, plus some interesting news coming out of Missouri. Lots of questions going on, and our go-to guy is Ryan Barker, Vice President of Health Policy for the Missouri Foundation for Health. Good morning, Ryan Barker. Ryan, are you there? I'm here. Good, Good morning. Quickly, explain to people what the uh, Missouri Foundation for Health is. Yeah, we are a private foundation and nonprofit that uh, provides resources and grant making to nonprofits across the state of Missouri. What should we know about what is this now, the third year or the fourth year with Obamacare? This is the third open enrollment period. There's some important things going on in Missouri for folks who already have uh, insurance through the marketplace. Um, as well as those who may be shopping for the first time, there was a lot of uh, changes in pricing to insurance plans in the marketplace. We saw some plans in Missouri drop in prices, and others went up over 20%. So it's really important. The number one takeaway for consumers is they need to shop and compare plans. Um, don't just re-enroll into the same plan. Um, you may see a large increase. It's, it's really important that consumers shop around, and they can get help. Um, there are certified licensed people that can help them figure out insurance because it is, it, is, it is a complicated subject. What's the difference between a plan that went up 20% and a plan that went down? So some of this is because this is an entirely new marketplace. So insurance companies came into this and they didn't have a good sense of who was going to enroll. Were they going to have a young, really healthy population? Were they going to have people with more that were older and maybe had more chronic health conditions? So what we expect is over the first five to 10 years, there's going to be some variability. So the average premium increase in Missouri this year was 12%. Now, the important thing to remember is that 90% of the people who have gone to the marketplace and enrolled insurance, they get financial help. And if you look at the cost of the marketplace plans after financial help, what Missourians are seeing is actually a 1% drop in the cost of their insurance. So that financial help really is keeping the prices pretty stable here in Missouri. Um, but yeah, the, the insurance companies are just, they're figuring this out as they go. So we're going to see some up and down over the next few years. Uh, there's a story in the newspaper the other day that BJC Healthcare has made it known that if your health plan is not part of BJC, they don't want you. Explain that. Yeah, so there is um, quite a bit of controversy across the nation, really, about uh, hospitals that are, are being locked out of the insurance companies. So part of this is negotiating the provider network. So insurance companies negotiate with mostly hospital systems, but also your regular primary care doc, whether or not they're going to be in network. So is the insurance company have a contract with them? Um, this is happening across the U.S. where we have a lot of learning institution so bjc washu is a learning academic medical center it's a little bit more expensive because you're training future doctors so insurance companies are looking for every corner to try to keep prices down because they are trying to be competitive um, and so we're seeing this happen and so there is actually quite a bit of work going on nationally uh around that network and is it adequate and are the right hospitals being provided now bjc is saying look, if you don't want to negotiate with us and, and, be, and contract with us to be part of your plan, um, it's costing us a lot of money to see patients that don't have their insurance, that their insurance doesn't cover us. So it, it's a catch-22 for consumers. It's a, it's a hard place for consumers to be in. But it's another reason where, why it's so important for consumers to really compare plans, look at the networks, and we have a couple of new tools um, that we're launching this year that really are focused on those consumers. Ryan Barker with us is with the Missouri uh, Foundation for Health. I was talking to a couple of doctors not too long ago, and they were saying that some new things are coming in for businesses as well as people who get their health insurance through the emergency room. There are going to be stiff penalties for, for people who are doing that. Explain some of that to us. So some of that is the, I, I don't know if they were referring to, the penalty for not having health insurance continues to increase. So we're, we're going into um, the third year. Now, when people file their taxes next spring, it's going to be for, for 2015. And in 2015, the penalty for not having health insurance is now up to $395 per adult in the household or 147 50 per kid 
or 2% of your income, whichever is higher. And that's going to increase one more time before it then is adjusted for inflation. So the penalty for not having health insurance is going up. And we're also seeing that the insurances are getting a little more tricky about using the emergency room when it's not needed. Um, and then hospitals, because Missouri has not expanded its Medicaid program, hospitals are being put under financial stress of, uh, because they don't, their, their federal funding is being cut and they don't, they're still seeing a large number of uninsured. So what they're doing is actually cracking down on providing charity care to folks. So they're saying if, if you could get insurance in the marketplace and you're not, we may not give you charity care. We're gonna we're gonna charge you um, to come to the emergency room. What about the person who has a uh, her elbow is hurting and they go to the emergency room? Aren't the emergency rooms sort of saying thank you? Go find a, a another doctor and or charge them some type of exorbitant price to go to well, the emergency so, room? Yeah. So what we're seeing is the, the because of the Affordable Care Act, a lot of hospitals are being pressured on new quality measures on uh, keeping prices down so they can't turn people away from the emergency room so if you come to the emergency room they're going to see you they're going to treat you they're going to stabilize you now we are starting to see within hospitals they are setting up sort of a divergent clinic where it's more of a primary care clinic so you come into the emergency room and you, you you've hurt your elbow you may not need to be in the emergency room they can actually divert you into this into this clinic. Now, if you insist on going to the emergency room, they could charge you full price. Um, and and hospitals are we're starting to see a lot of Missouri hospitals because we haven't expanded Medicaid. They're barely holding on financially, and so they're looking to see how do we survive. Ryan Barker, uh, a website to find out more information about all this stuff. Yeah, covermissouri.org. And uh, this year we have not only a zip code locator where folks can find those licensed certified professionals, but they actually can schedule their own appointment online so they can see when these folks have appointments and schedule. Additionally, we have a 1-800 number for Missouri this year where you can call and schedule an appointment if you don't have internet access. That phone number is 1-800-466-3213. I thought M Missouri passed a law saying you weren't allowed to help people with their health insurance. The state government is not allowed to do anything related to healthcare.gov and helping people with the marketplace plans. We are not government, so we're a, we're a not for profit, so we are allowed to do this. Uh, okay, uh, the uh, the website one more time. Covermissouri.org. Ryan Barker, thank you very much for your time. Hey, thanks. Seven fifty-five, Big Five Fifty, KTRS. News.